we're going to weigh the puppies. First, let's give you an idea how big these puppies are. This is the green colored male. See the measurements on here. That can be real exact, but you can get an idea. He is almost two pounds. button. Tiniest yeah. little bit of weight right there. That will not show when it's older. It'll be gone. Now we're going to weigh the puppy with the yellow color. Again, this is one of the boys. A little bit darker than the green. And he's Let's show you the rest of you, babe. Sorry about that. He's a little bit bigger white spot. But it's not a lot of hair that's white on top of that skin. But again, that might not show at all when he's a little bit bigger. May or may not. Here is the pink striped collar girl. Heard me while I turn her over one handed here. There's no white on her. You notice the little tan markings there. They show more on some puppies than others. That's normal when they're this age. Will not show when they're bigger. Just a red bone puppy at this age. This is the puppy that my husband has his eyes on for keeping. I don't pick them this early. Primal pal. And as we can see, she also weighs one and three quarters. Here we have the red collar, female. She was the largest one in the litter, also the firstborn. Pretty face, baby. Beautiful head on her already. She's actually been my favorite. John and I have a little grudge match going on between the two girls. We'll see who wins. She holds still. Let's see how much she weighs. Two and a quarter. We have the yellow striped collar boy. I'm starting to get hungry. Like only a week old, and they want to walk. Very active puppies from the get go. Well, let's see, he weighs two pounds. Okay. He's got a tiny, tiny bit of weight on his chest. Again, that's too small to, to stay there when he's older. Here is the pink colored girl. She's the smallest of the litter. Well, she is not a runt. There are no runts in this litter. Just happens to be the smallest. They're already trying to stand. Curious to see what her temperament's gonna be like. It always seems like the pink colored ones are always the smallest and always the cuddliest in the letters we have here. Let's see if this holds true for this little girl. 
Red collars are usually the most dominant and bossy in our litter, so we'll find out that too. Yeah. She weighs one and a half pounds. And here we have the biggest male, blue collar. He was the second one born. No white on him either. Got more hair since than the other one's a bit longer. Wrinklier. And Almost two and a half. Let's see, we get it more centered here. We're going to call it two and a half. So now he's the biggest so far. Here's the last puppy for the day. This what? one's the green stripe collar. He's the most active and the most vocal. You can see he's already trying to sit. Let's hear your mouth. Anything to say? Nice dark face. No light. Two pops. See if I can squawk. Can we quiet now? He's got a deep voice on him already. He's not doing it right now. Notice I have to use a different scale now because they're much bigger. Too big for my little newborn scale. <coughs> you can see them all. Twister making all the noise in the background. She's here in the whelping room waiting for her puppies that are doing just under two weeks. You can tell who's striped and who's not. That's a pink striped collar. There's the yellow stripe. And here's the green stripe. They're all tuckered out. Good job, baby. Ah. All they care about right now is finding someone to cuddle with. videos you'll get to see more action. Go and put this on the website. So you can see